Hi guys and welcome back to a new Spring Boot security episode. Today we are going to implement a remember me feature inside our custom login form. Now we can log in and log out which is perfectly fine but asking the user to sign in now every 30 minutes or so is kind of annoying. So let's try to implement a remember me feature like most you know websites have these days and see how we can do that in Spring security. Now, before we get started, I would like to remind you to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel to stay tuned for more courses that will sharpen your programming skills. In order to implement a Remember Me feature, we need to do a couple of things. The first one, obviously, is we need to add that little checkbox in our custom login page. So right now we have a username and a password. We also need to add a checkbox for letting the user decide if he wants to be remembered or not inside the application. So let's do that right now. I'm just gonna copy paste this just to save some time. Okay, so a pretty basic checkbox input. Of course, the name is pretty important here. So I'm just going to leave that to remember me because that's the default name that Spring is aware of. And basically, like I said, simple checkbox, you need to pay attention to the name. And that's it for the view part, okay? Now, now, now that, that we have this in place, we also need to configure Spring Security to use this feature. So it's not enough just to add in this visual element. And we can do that by modifying our security configuration. So we have login, logout, and then we need to add something more. And we are going to add the remember me feature and basically this should be enough if I'm not mistaken. Let's start our application and see how it behaves now. I'll fire up Chrome. We'll go to local host 82. Okay, we'll proceed. Okay, and I want to access my profile. I'll hit then, then one to three. I'll click here on the remember me and I'll log in. So I have successfully, I have logged in successfully. Now, what I want to show you is that this feature actually worked. Now, remember me works using a cookie. So when you successfully authenticate, if you specify that you want to be, uh, you know, signed to, to be kept as a signed in user, even after your session expires, another cookie is created and downloaded on your client. And that cookie contains a token. And that token contains, you know, a combination of your username, your password, uh, an expiration because the remember me has an expiration policy so it's not going on forever and ever and then there is a key or a secret which hashes all that information into a token and we can go here and we can see that we now have two cookies so we have the session cookie g session id and we also have this remember me cookie and this is the token that I mentioned. So this content basically is a hash of a couple of fields including username, password and valid and you know expiration, validity. Okay? And then when we make requests to different resources of our application, that cookie is also sent with each and every request. And even if our session expires on the server, because we have remember me, we are not asked to to reprovise credentials. You know that cookie is read, and the username and password contained in there are used to uh, automatically log us in again without having to prompt us or redirect us to the login page. So this is how the remember me feature works. Now I mentioned here something about validity and a key that is used to create that cookie content, and some values are used by default. But of course we can configure how remember me works. For example, if you want to modify the validity, 
we can modify them by using the token validity in seconds. And let's say that we want our remember me to be valid for 30 days. I don't know, it's, it's a value that I've seen uh, a lot of sites are using. And we have to provide this in seconds and this is the value that corresponds to 30 days. So now our remember me feature is enabled and uh, if, we, uh, if we successfully authenticate, then this cookie is going to be valid for 30 days. Of course, we can also modify the key that is used to hash the content of this cookie. So we can say something like, you know, my secret or something like that. Uh, if you don't want to use the default ones that are provided by Spring Security. Of course, uh, this is not something that uh, we can test right now because you're not going to wait for you know, 30 days. But this is pretty much how you uh, configure a Remember Me feature for a Spring application or for a Spring Boot application. Before we close, I would like to remind you to subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more software development tutorials that will sharpen your programming skills. Just go to the Romanian Coder YouTube page and click on the subscribe button. Also, if you found this video useful, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. If you have any comments, thoughts or ideas for new courses, just put them in the comment section at the end of this video because I would love to get feedback from you guys. You can also find me on Twitter at Romanian Coder and you can also check out my blog www.romaniancoder.com. Until next time, have a great day and write amazing code. Goodbye.